Hi Niall and greetings from me Mike Jackson from Lesbians Gay Support the Miners to the Scottish Green Party Trade Union Group. Uh, I hear you're having a fundraiser to raise funds for the different rail unions that are about to go on strike and good on you for doing that. Uh, the rail unions during the miners' strike, uh, which is where we've recently come to fame from, uh, were also completely solid uh, with the, the miners throughout the strike. Uh, all credit to them. Uh, not not a, a piece of coal was moved by the rail unions uh, during that big strike. Uh, Thatcher instead had to get scab lorry drivers in to deliver coal to coal to power stations. Uh, so. You know, it's a, that's a, a really good example of solidarity. We offered the same solidarity when Thatcher tried to starve the miners back to work by sequestering the union's funds, including their strike pay funds. Uh, and Thatcher put out a call around the world um, for people, instead of giving money to the union, which would have been pointless because the government would have just seized it, to instead uh, twin with individual mining communities. So we twin with a little... Uh, community in South Wales uh, and we did that absolutely unconditionally. We were living in London but many of us, or most of us in fact, were from different parts of the UK, that's where we grew up. Uh, I grew up in an industrial town in Lancashire, uh, so there was, a, there was a coal mine there, there were lots of cotton weaving uh, sheds, textile machinery etc. So these are our own families, our brothers, our uh, fathers, our grandfathers, uh, who were striking during 1984-85 strike. And that's why we stood them by them, because they were our families, our working class families. Um, solidarity is a truly wonderful thing. Uh, it, it, Tony Benn always used to say, two steps forward and one step backwards. And that sounds pretty likely to me. Uh, but hopefully each time we make two steps forward, we gain a bit more ground. Um, and what's exciting for me about the current wave of, of rail strikes is the way that the unions are acting in concert with each other. We've got several rail, rail unions going on strike. Uh, we've got the CWU workers going on strike. Um, and so it's really beginning to hot up now. Uh, now, of course, the right wing have to protect their own interests. That's quite natural really in the uh, state of things uh, and they are remorseless about the lies that they will peddle uh, especially aided by the appalling press that we've got in this country the rest of Europe laughs at uh, Britain's right-wing press it's just unbelievably biased and distorted um, and so they will do what they did when I was a teenager I remember the 1970s uh, inflation was running at between 10 and 15 percent and what the media managed to do then, and include and the Tories, of course, who, who backed them, and they backed each other, really, the same people. Um, they managed to peddle a lie that actually inflation was caused by the trade unions. Uh, and I saw um, Anne Widdicombe interviewing Eddie Dempsey from the RMT uh, the other night, and she was peddling exactly that same lie again, uh, that if we start asking for higher wages, we're going to push up inflation even higher. Well, what we must remember is that we never started this. It started with the energy companies recently putting up their unbelievable hike in, in prices, and there's going to be much suffering this winter because of that. Um, and prior to that, of course, for decades, the, the wages of ordinary workers has dropped and dropped and dropped. And that's what's caused inflation, is that wealth overwhelmingly shifting from the labouring classes, the working class, into the coffers of the rich and powerful. So good luck with your fundraiser, uh, enjoy it, and uh, let's hope we get victory once more. Okay, take care, bye-bye.